anybody watching on demand or YouTube, just jump about five minutes ahead. We should be able to be started by then. All right, stream elements is up. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Gonna finish things up in Mass Effect today. <clears throat> I 
I know we gotta do Ilos, and then there's one last bit of the city. A lot of it's gonna be fun because freaking. I don't know. Like I said, for a lot of the casual gaming I do, I play on easy just because I like enjoying the game. I just like, you know, experiencing it. Um, so I've never really beaten this on normal. <laughs> but uh, I'm certainly going to try. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. VR, of course, has to stick with a pistol. Gears, you get your sniper. Or I'll get my assault rifle. Okay. Right, those. I'm not tangling with those things on foot. Guys, we're not tangling with those things on foot. Jesus. Right. Uh, Unity. Yara. Just come on. Just come on. Come on. Come. to use it, but I got to. Alright, we got all those fuckers. Double check over here, see if there's anything for me to get. Right. I hit A again. I'm an idiot. What's in here? I'll take him. This is the thing that I'm interested in. Alright. So that should take care of those two fuckers up top. Yep, there's the armatures right there. Dear God, I hate dealing with those armatures. On foot, at least. In the Mako, it's not a problem.
pretty sure we need to be going, yep, up this hill. All those guys are down. Don't need to go up there. We do need to go up here, though. I can't use another freaking mana gel on you right now. I'm sorry. You're going to have to stay poisoned. I'm going to need as many of these as I can get. This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Seren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after we went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security check something real quick. Oh. Okay. What the hell are high explosive rounds? Hold up a damn second. Pistol's still the best she can get. Here we go. Garris. Uh, uh, Garris, I think you're already good. Stasis a little bit, your barrier a little bit, and your lift a little bit. Garrus, um, decryption. Oh, I got, I picked up another mid dose gel somewhere. You're good, Tally. Or Tally. Liara. Alright. Now, in here, there's gonna be a damn Geth Prime, but. I might be able to... bad. And we had an armor char on our side, which took care of the little guys just fine. We just had to worry about the big guy. Um, that could have been a much worse than what it did. All right, anything else around here we need to look into? It does not look like it. There's a crate, but honestly, like I said, we pretty much have the best equipment in the game at this point. So I'm not too worried about any of that. 
Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found him, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Truly. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it say? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. of desperation. The conduit... All is lost! It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Hey, we should go. Alright. Uh, okay, guess there's nothing up here. the Mako we go. Oh, what the fuck? I thought I turned that thing off. Uh, it's not firing. <sighs> that scared the shit out of me. <sighs> I've never seen... Uh, Jesus Christ. I've never seen that before. Uh... Swept up in the moment. I just hope. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Oh, well. Nope, guys, okay, bike up over here. Damn it. Alright, we're good. We're good. Hi. Yeah, I call bullshit on that. Splash damage alone should have taken him out. Oh well. What is happening? It's a trap. Sarah must have set an ambush. I do not think Saren is behind this. All right. Now we get to Vigil. With probably with one of the best tracks in the game, by the way.
You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. It looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos research facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the relay is activated and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. 
Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon, it is a backdoor onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning, a way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel Relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel security protocols and give you temporary control over the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now, the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm sorry, Liara. We have to stop Saren. Nothing else matters. You are right. I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. We... we should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry.
now it's off to the conduit. Okay, I'm a good driver. I got this. I'm sucking at this today. I don't know why. Come on. There we go. Normally, I'm pretty decent on this thing. I, I don't know. right around the corner. Here we go. Oh, cool oh shit. Okay, a Colossus. I don't think this is normally here. <laughs> okay, let me rephrase that. I don't think this is here on easy. sucking at driving this thing right now. Luckily, this is the last section with it. Ooh, I think that was a direct hit. Very nice. Nope, 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 nope. Rock, thank you. There you are. Yo. Alright. And I see a shimmering light. Now this part could potentially be rough. There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Forty seconds to get there, and a lot of things between here and they're trying to kill us. So, shit. Okay, we're good. 
We're good. We got this. Fuck you guys. Jumped into the conduit. Hell yes. Shotgun, real quick. Not gonna open that yet. No telling how much damage these guys are gonna wind up doing. Was it really only two of them? Okay. Negative contact. Grab that real quick. And let's go. Home stretch. I really nailed this into foreboding with this. This part of the game should be fun as well, because you're going to have rocket turrets, you're going to have geth everywhere. towards the Reaper. Make sure everybody's got the right guns. Yep. Alright. It's hard for the R not to since there's literally only one gun she can use, but... Oh, what the hell? What the hell's going on with my freaking assault rate? Alright, hang on. 
a sec, something's wrong. Oh, yeah, no, that's, no, that's gone. That, to hell with that shit. Um. I now see my mistake. big boys down what the hell did you shoot that through the wall that got rid of your own cover bitch Something I could have done to do there, but I guess not. turrets. Pretty sure he gets around this corner. Should be, oh yeah, we're getting right up on them. Got him. And we leveled up. So let's, I'll put another point to assault rifles here. That's one. 
Got several more. That's the part I was not looking forward to. <laughs> oh, and, uh, yeah, I didn't save anywhere there, so... None of that stuck. Snowblind rounds are crappy. Hang on a sec. Alright, I'm going to go for the Inferno. The Aura. Take, uh... Take the Polonium rounds. Come on, Rocket Trooper, stick your head out. Yes, yes, yes. I will be making several saves. Because... Uh, yeah, I don't feel like redoing that same section over and over and over and over, and over again, so... Get your ass over here. Oh my god, Vicarian. Come on. What do you suck on? Alright, let's go. 
go. Oh, where'd she come from? That geth right there is not going to let me do it. Alright, that's fine. All right. I think we've only got one or two more. One more, looks like. Got it. Okay. That was much better than last time.
now the climax. Time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeyer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has. Let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign. And experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the nation. Step aside, and invasion will never happen. We can't stop it, not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for. <laughs> the implants. Sovereign is too strong. I am sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. So if you don't convince him to back off, you get to a big boss fight with him and everything. Um, really helps you sympathize with him too, because Shepard and Liara were talking about it earlier too, and oh hang on. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you really willing to sacrifice human lives to save the Council, Shepard? This is bigger than humanity. 
Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. The Council must be sacrificed for the greater good. Don't waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess! Sure, he's dead. He's dead. Good, it's saved. I am sovereign, and this station is mine. Did you seriously just come here, little bitch? I got a freaking awesome shotgun. Save my off my meta gel. Uh, my meta gel is disabled. Like it's not even needing to recharge. It's disabled. Way there. Sovereign's too strong. We have to pull back. Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster. 
monster down no matter what the cost. All right. Come here. Get him or not? I think I got him. Oh, good, good, good. I think it was a glitch because I just healed the shit out of carrots. You're almost dead. You're almost dead. You get your ass. As long as you stop jumping around. Got him. <laughs> I think Christ, there's no more jumpy fuckers in this series. <laughs> It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? the hero shot.
Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Mm -hmm. We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. I got your back, bro. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As Humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. Here comes some of the best in Christ music you'll ever hear. All right. While the credits are playing momentarily, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Uh, you guys enjoy the music.
just a tad. Uh, back up just a bit. But, um, yeah. Hopefully you guys can see why this is one of my favorite games of all time. Definitely my favorite trilogy of all time, Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. Um, Andromeda technically makes it a quadrilogy, but it kind of exists separately from all of it enough to where, you know, I still count this as a trilogy. But, um, yeah, amazing, amazing game. Amazing characters. Everybody has a pretty interesting backstory. Um, everything from you know, Tally with her pilgrimage to Rex, who was just, I freaking, I don't know, I, I loved hearing all of his stories, you know, so. There you see some of the voice actors. They all did amazing work, of course. But, um, It's, it's, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to describe how amazing this game is. You just, you have to experience it for yourself. So if any of you guys have not played this yet, play it. Definitely. It's backwards compatible. You can get it with the Game Pass, you can get it with EA Access, or you can just buy it. Um, Saren as a villain was amazing. You heard Shepard and Liar talking about, you know, was he after power or was he trying to do the right thing and then got indoctrinated. And you can kind of see, get the answer at the end there because what does he do? He tries to redeem himself. He shoots himself in the head, but that puts him out of Shepard's way to do what he needs to do. So. It's really, it's hard to get better than this game. It really is. In this series. Uh, definitely going to be doing Mass Effect 2. I'm kicking around a couple different ideas. I love the way they're doing the music in here. The entire soundtrack is just amazing.
All right. And that's that. So from here, what I can do, I'm just going to show you guys this. I'm not going to play through it again right now. Uh, if I go to start new career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Basically, it's going to look for the most completed save they can find. If you select existing ID. Boom. So that's basically your new game plus. Now, I'm not going to be doing that right now. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. I'm not going to be doing that right now because that's just something different. Um, I will be doing a new game plus at run at some point, but what I'm going to be doing with that is a renegade female run, Fibship. Um... So that's going to be something that I do later. So what I'm going to need to do then is play through it once. Then I'll start streaming the new game plus for that. Like I said, that's going to be sometime later. For now, hell with it. Let's start Mass Effect 2. I'm going to edit this. You know what? Cancel. What I'm going to do, actually, let me end the stream, and then I'll start it up new here in about 5-10 minutes. So, for all you guys on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. All you guys who came out to the stream, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'll be back.